Okay, now we're looking at the word insists. This demonstrates some excellent um, advantages to the I, S, and T combinations. First, let's look at the simplest possible way to combine these. So we would have I, N, S, I. And remember, the I cup has to encapsulate the previous letter. S, T, S. Okay, this would be the simplest possible combination. I'm not a big fan of it, and it uses some quite unappealing double combinations. So first, let's look at what the main reason we're here. We're here for the S, the T, and also the I. First thing we know about the S is it's a curve. The T also has a reverse curve version. So this is ST, and this is TS. Okay, we've covered this many times, but now we're going to get into it. We're going to add even a little bit more to it. Suppose we have an S like so, and we want to add an I to it. Well, we could encapsulate it, or the other thing we can do is we can go like so. It catches it on the side, only on the corner of the S. This is acceptable too. It's catching the end of the word line. The word comes into here, and then it's caught. Now you can then continue the word out of here, out of this portion of the I cup, if you like. You could also connect it out of there, if you like, as normal. Just consider it a tilted I cup. But the best is to come out of that bottom piece there. And as you can see, we can go I, N, S, I, S, and then we use this T, T, S. This is a perfect example of how this works. The only, th every curve on the left is an S, every curve on the right is a T. The only exceptions come for the I. This is not a T because it's an I. So it, the same would apply in reverse. If this was a T and then you caught it with an I, this is not an S, this is a T. I mean, this is not a, an S, this is an I. So let's see how, how well we can make insists look. One other thing we can do is we can combine the N into the I like so, and we can go S, I S T S. Very simple. Very simple to draw. Only a couple, three real strokes out of it there. Um, let's take one more quick look at the I, the S I T S and T S I S S and these kinds of things. So we've got, we've, if we've got an I and we catch it with it with a like so, and suppose we had I, S I, and we wanted to add a T. Well, we could add a T like so, or we could simply add a T like so. It might look like a double T, but remember, when you catch it, that one doesn't count. That one is the I. The same applies in reverse for the S. So if we had a T like so, we caught it like that, we would then go like that for another I, S. So this is T-I-S. One more time, let's try to make our word insists kind of look square-like, where it fit into a box, kind of like a Chinese character. Um, we can go I N S I S T S insists.